Today at Speedy's Garage we're going to be installing a Hurst short throw shifter in our 2009 Challenger. Um, came pretty nicely packaged. It's carded so it makes it really quick to uh, check the parts list, make sure you have everything you're supposed to have. Um, I opted just to go ahead and use the uh, white ball shifter. I like the old school look on that. They have a couple of other handles that are available. They got a T handle and an aluminum uh, pistol grip handle. Get some pretty nice instructions. A uh, little card giving you a customer support number. And to complete this job, we're going to need um, a couple of ratchets, 8mm, 10mm, 13mm sockets, a long extension, a 732nd hex wrench. Uh, I went ahead and I'm going to throw in the car while I'm working on this, 10mm, uh, 13mm, and 8mm uh, uh, crescent wrenches just in case the ratchets don't fit. I'm uh, also going to need a half inch wrench. Um, a couple of dash pry tools. You guys have seen my other videos. You know I love those things. They'll let me uh, pry the dash pieces apart without uh, tearing up the console. And a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's get started. I want to start by removing this trim that goes around our shifter. Use one of the uh, dash pry tools. If you use a screwdriver, if you don't have these and you have to use a flathead screwdriver, make sure you put a towel or something around this trim so that you don't scratch it up. That's why I like these so much is they don't damage anything. I just want to underneath each corner, pry it up. Next thing we want to do is we want to remove the uh, stick assembly and these uh, half inch bolts hold it in place. As you can see, the whole thing will just pop right out. The next thing we want to do so we want to pop the center console section up. It's got some tabs that hold it in place. Um, looks like it'd be best to pop it up from the back. So just get a good grip on it and firmly lift up. And then we want to try to come under here and disconnect the uh, harnesses. There's one that goes to the cup holders to light those up. There's one that goes to our 12 volt. Um, connection in the front for accessories. The cigarette lighter is pretty straightforward to unsnap. I want you to see this one. This is your cup holder lighting. It actually has a tab. It pulls down and then the whole thing will just slide off like that. Then you want to set the upper cup holder section aside somewhere safe where it won't get scratched up. Next we want to move the two Phillips head screws that hold the center console in. This should go without saying, but obviously you want to set a little container or something down to keep all these connectors in, the screws and everything, so you don't lose them. Once those are removed, I'm going to come to the back, actually inside the console, take the uh, plastic rubber tray out. Actually, that might not be a bad spot to put your screws and stuff. And then inside the rubber tray, I doubt my camera will show it, but there are four uh, looks like they're eight millimeter. So there's four eight millimeter bolts in the bottom of that. Let's see if we can see it. So there they are. I want to take those four out. You're going to need at least a 12 inch extension to reach these. So make sure you have that on hand. The next thing you want to do is you want to remove this center console. And as you can see, it'll come out, but we've got some wiring harnesses to disconnect. There's a 12 volt plug uh, actually inside the center console. You know, unplug that. And then there's the iPod connection on my car. Now, depending on what options you have, you may not have all these connectors, but you will need to uh, disconnect them if you do to get them out, to get the uh, console out of the car. As you can see, the whole console will come out. I'm going to set this to the side. Next, we're going to remove the uh, rear AC duct, and you just gently lift up on it from the back and slide it backwards. Now, we need to get our rubber isolator boot out of the way, and it's held in place by a couple of plastic tabs. 
Just pop those out. We've got a uh, wiring harness that's connected up here. Wiggle that loose. And then it's just going to slide out from underneath the carpet. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it in place because it looks like I can access this uh, tunnel cover pretty easy from here. Um, one less thing to have to fool with later. To remove the tunnel cover, it's six 10 millimeter bolts and then a 13 millimeter bolt on the rear. Next we want to pop off the uh, shifter boot and then take the tunnel cover out. There we go. Looks like it's going to be pretty easy to get to actually. Next we need to take the uh, two front pins out that hold the shifter to the transmission. And it's kind of hard to film this, I really need three hands, but what you're looking at here is the retaining clip. And what you want to do is pry that forward and then the pin will slide out and that clip is going to stay connected to the pin. So what I'm going to use is a little hook tool. Grab it, pull it up, and then just ease the pin out. Now, if you drop the pin, just call the car and get it, but you can pull that pin out and hang on to it. And the other side, uh, looks like the clip is on the other end, so we'll have to pry that towards us and then uh, pop the shifter out. Rather than risk wasting time dropping that pin on the ground, having to climb underneath there and get it, I decided to use a magnetic tool to just pull it out. That's probably the best way to do it. Next thing you want to do is lift the shifter up, and there's a 10 millimeter bolt that connects it to the uh, uh, shift rod. You'll take that bolt out, and then you can take the whole shifter assembly out. So the lower change rod bolt is out. The reason it was so uh, tough is it, it actually has Loctite on the thread, so expect that. Now we can just wiggle the whole shifter assembly out. So here are the two shifters side by side. Obviously the top one is the Hurst. You can see it's much, much beefier. Uh, it looks like a uh, better made product. So I'm hoping the shifts are as good as I think they'll be.